What is up, guys? It's your boy, Dirt Bike Guy Zero Sim. You know what it is. I always on the throttle. Uh, Y'all gotta stay tuned. I am about to give you my one year review on the TBR7. Just watch. I wanna go ahead and give you what I, my, my one year review. I wanna give you my one year review of the TBR7. I have a 2019 TBR7. Um, I bought it last year. Uh, I basically started, uh, let me give you a quick rundown. I started on a 40cc pit bike. Uh, it's on the channel. You can go to my videos. That's some of the very first videos. Started with a pit bike, a 40cc dirt bike. Um, and then uh, I wanted to progress and not get in trouble or anything. So I went ahead and started, went to motorcycle school. And uh, then I went to uh, uh, a power sports store store and purchase the tbr7 now um in short i got the bike there from the dealership and drove it off ran out of gas within a block of two and <laughs> that started the journey um, i drove it 20 miles i believe at least 20 miles um from the shop to uh to to where i to where i was at basically and uh so the tbr7 has really Definitely, it has had, um, you know, the TBR7 definitely has uh, held it down for me. So, in short here, what I'm gonna have to do is just go over a couple of the pros and a couple of the cons of this bike, this one year bike that I've had. So let's get to it. I don't want the video to be as long. I've actually done this twice. Hopefully, this one will go through quickly and uh, we'll have no problem. So, as you can automatically see here, bar busters went down a few times. They finally broke. They didn't break right away, but eventually they did break. I went down a few times. They passed it. No biggie. Um, let's go ahead and get to this right here while we up on top. Uh, this here broke within a few hundred, within a couple thousand miles. No speedometer. That doesn't work. My thing doesn't work. The hand it broke off, but the uh, gear indicator works as far as uh, as far as the gas hand that does not work. But that does not stop the motorcycle the TR7 from working. Gas cap still work pretty satisfied. Locks haven't had no issues out of that. Tips over, it leaks out, but you know that's normal for dirt bikes. Uh, here we go. Let's go on down here. So I don't know if you've noticed this yet or not. You should have right away. My gear shifter broke. Yeah, that's right. Look at that, guys. My gear shifter broke. Um, I've been trying to get the wheelie game right. So I went up a little hill, and it looks like that. I looped, and it went to the left. And basically, the pressure made the gear shift pop off. Now, I did check. Transmission still works. I am able to change gears, but I kind of have to set it up for low. I mean, uh, low or high. You know, you know off-road, on-road, you know? right now but i am working on a fix to that so i would say that that broke kind of easy that wasn't a hard wreck that i had so that may be something that needs to be worked on by the, by the manufacturer that thing broke a little bit too easy guys i'm sorry to be honest with that thing there it broke just too easily okay it definitely did now moving right on over here to the dry rest of the dry train this chain is a factory now i did have to replace the sprocket in the tire because uh the chains are tight it caused a lot of tension right here and it basically broke that off because it bent these off bent one of the screws then eventually just broke off put too much stress on it and i had to replace the whole rim new chain eventually same sprocket but up to right now i haven't had any problems so good deal it is a little tight so i'm definitely going to change the sprocket as well as i'm going to go ahead and upgrade the chain so stay tuned for that um boats like come in for the fairings have little boats for the fairings you know got to tie down those kind of barbed out really most of the screws stayed in place i haven't had a whole bunch of screws vibrate off they're still great boats i believe oh i'm over here looking at this part here in the front end you know like i said i've been putting it through hell i've been beating on it so i believe shorted out my um headlight so may need to replace that um so but outside of that it's still 
good my home works. Um, we'll figure that out in good time. Pretty simple. Um, that's I've been definitely beating on my bike. Now looking over here at the levers. Look at the levers. Uh, the levers are bent. Brake lever is bent. And uh, that's kind of bent just a little bit. I'm, wanting, I'm going to definitely replace that. Got it off uh, one of the vlogger sites. Replace that. I'm going to replace these factory grips. These hurt your hand. They're good and strong, but they definitely hurt your hand if you're pulling up and gripping, trying to pull wheelies up and stuff like that. Tight gripping is going to hurt your hand, um, most likely. These are not the same uh, factory uh, mirrors, but I changed that. And also, guys, I didn't say that initially. My bike has been pretty much kept stock just about the whole time. I did swap out the CDI for um, uh, a sport CDI, a race CDI, but I'm no longer using that. I'm back on the stock right now. Um, so, uh, like I say, most of my bike experience with this bike that I'm reviewing on is stock form, okay? No, that's important. As you can see, I'm still with the PZ30. Um, now, I will tell you now, since I've gone back to the stock uh, CDI, I'm bogging out a little bit easier. It's been a year, so it could be um, the uh, jets might be clogged a little bit. So, I do have plans to either do the Dremel and uh, unscrew it, you know, bit and get inside, or I just might spend 40 bucks and get a new carburetor. Nonetheless, uh, that's, that's what's going on with that right now, the one year in. Um, it's been pretty good, you know, with the new C uh, uh, race CDI and everything is pretty t uh, tuned up. I mean, I was ripping. I had no complaints, but I am a noob, so some people may feel different. Other issue, I don't know if you can see this, but right up there, right up there, you can see the boat's missing. I did a hill climb, I came back, and these boats had came off or nuts or whatever you want to call them. I got some temporary thing on there, not easy one to find to put on there, so. I gotta be careful because that's what mounts. That's what actually mounts the exhaust to the motor. And uh, yeah, it got so hot, I think it just stretched it out a little bit. But nonetheless, I made it home. That was a, I, I look forward to releasing that footage. I think you'll enjoy it because that was, I was a real hill climb, real like enduro style hill climb. I almost died coming down a couple of times, yo. So I hope that when, you, when I get back to this, y'all enjoy it. So let me keep on going. I don't want to waste your time. Um, I, this right here, I will tell you, is not strong metal. I went down this side a couple of times. This is the first thing that bends. It's out of place. Right now, the rear brake is, it's okay. It could be better. But since it's been damaged and, you know, getting pulled back and stuff, it is not as functional as it originally was. Now, that's something I can work on to get right, you know, in due time, due season. Front brake though, I will say works great. Squeeze it, you will flip over, right? So it's good brake. Um, I think uh, mine actually came with a screw missing, or it may have actually came out. But um, as you can see right here, it's supposed to be a boat right there, it's right here, it's not in there right now, but so far I've been able to make it so far. So, whew. Um, so getting to the next thing I mentioned here is, I. Um, want to do a delete, want to delete this right down here, so I'll be doing that soon. As I do have a few mods planned for it, um, I think I want a big board, it's 229 right now. Maybe I'll throw a big board in there to go to like a 240 something. Um, I think that would be cool. Uh, let's say want to change the sprocket, want to change the chain, and also want to go ahead and change the uh, the grips here. Um, right now. It's still on factory uh, spark plug, but I do have an educated spark plug. I just haven't put that in there yet. So I really wanted to keep it as stock as possible so I could have a real good review on it. I definitely watch uh, Moto Cheese's reviews, uh, the, uh, some other channel like Everod. Or there's the other channel somebody else had on the West that has a TT250, something like that, a CSE 250, something like that, similar to the Hulk. So um, with that being said, um, I watch those, check those out. They would help me. They help me make a decision. Also, while we're here, I want to think about um, it was back up budget deals. Had a good video on it. Um, also, I don't know the, the, the channel's name, but the title of like the world's most affordable motorcycle. She grew up the most affordable motorcycle. Everybody could do a sport, something like that. But long story short, very informative. 
Um, he had a drum break, so I had a disc because I bought my bike a little bit later. Uh, but nonetheless, man, nonetheless, I'm satisfied. Thanks to those reviews, thanks to Motor Cheese reviews and the information he gives out. So, with this being said, this bike here has over 5,000 miles. I don't know if it's quite that much, but I would say about 3,000 3, miles. Yeah, gotta give it three, three plus for sure. In less than a year, has had a breakdown or two. Nothing too serious that you can't come back from. As far as the cost, cash out at 13, 1400 bucks. You can't beat that. That's a steal. That's a robbery. It's unquestionable. Um, now, if you do the finance option, which um, it's going to cost you three times that, so you're probably going to pay right around for 37, 38 bucks, 3800 for this bike if you're financing. So, you got to consider that. Um, even with that being said, I was going to go in the Honda Live by a brand new CR52L. And that was gonna come out. I was come out at least 7,500. You know, including cool finance and all that extra stuff. 7,500 to eight. So I actually have this bike and a DRZ. Uh, and still didn't pay what I was gonna originally make uh, pay. Uh, uh, just going to the Honda dealership, which I was definitely scared and ready to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's actually pretty good. So that's not too bad on my decision. Now taking mine, you know, I'm having to work on the DRZ and get it where it needs to be. And I am a new, so it's taking extra additional time, but I still feel like it's worth it. This bike has really set the tone because it's very easy. It's not a competition bike, it's an air cool. So, you know, it's designed to not be raced, it's not be the engine is designed to give out a certain type of performance and stay, you know, functional. race like race ready so um, so this bike has definitely been helpful in me learning about the parts of the motorcycle and what you know what the different things mean and how to you know how to change the tires and tools and all that things and that's all stuff I've learned pretty much just going head in so guys I know the video is getting pretty long but I just wanted to give you a good review a helpful review uh, would I buy this bike again absolutely I definitely would do it at the cash rate, not the finance rate, but, um, you know, quick come to shove, you know, it still might turn out to be a better deal than going out and buying a brand new bike for twice the cost that you would pay if you did, even if you finance it. Also, you got to consider the fact that if you go buy a new Japanese bike, you need to be ready to really be ready to dive in and figure out how to repair it or up, get the upkeep right and different things like that. So that's that's on the on the rod of the purchase me coming in straight new i don't feel like this is bad i think this is pretty good like i say um, i do need some new boards boards bent so from the fall a little rust coming in i thought about pro taper boards so these are some of the models i might want to come back with try to get the good life out of the motorcycle out the dirt bike do it for it straight up at this point it's done some amazing things the hill climb like i said was it was crazy. The hill climb was crazy. Um, the hill climb was crazy. Um, but, you know, I don't really think that's it. I know y'all probably want to see it. It's going to crank up. Let me see here. You know, try to get on good cold from real quick. Okay, let's try to see here. Here we go, guys. This year got been, but I've been putting in work. Oh, this year got been, but I put in work to say um, these screws got loose, but it's been putting in work on it. Um, this one bolt came out to push the exhaust in. Um, outside of those bolts, uh, things been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, y'all. So this is about a 15 minute video at this point. 
Um, like I say, there are still repairs I need to make since I've been beating it up. This right here can be replaced, but I don't care about the speed limit. It don't matter. I know I ain't gonna be going 100 miles per hour, so I got nothing to check for. Gas tank is holding it down. It's been beat up. It's been right there. Seat, hella comfortable. Most everybody don't have a comfortable seat. I can sit on the thing for hours. It's just be good. Well, that was I. I think we made it to the end as far as what I wanted to present in this video. Um, get the as far as information I want to get out there to you. Uh, so, y'all be sure to follow me on Instagram now. You can go to DirtbyGuy07 and join my page and build, help me build my follow game up. Um, help me build and build the word up on the community. This Chinese motorcycle, this Thailand motorcycle. You know, shout out to anybody that's out there riding. I'm seeing videos. I'm still checking in and tuning in to what people are doing on these bikes. Uh, the Peace Motor Peace Force bike is on a few other bloggers' channels. So, you know, the concepts of the, the platform of the bike are the same. Most a few changes from certain little aspects, but pretty much it's the same thing. So, it's good to see the Peace Force motorbike getting out there like that. It speaks for the, the Hulk, it speaks for the TBR Selma, and any other little bikes that are coming in um, that are Chinese. So I can only say it's getting better. I can't be disappointed with the price. I was different for the bike again. I'm getting miles. My engine is still going, so it didn't clap out. I just, hey, I gotta keep my game up and stay on point. Cause right now it's, it's holding it down. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So, hey, with that, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Um, got a Patreon coming up, so y'all, if y'all wanna participate on the Patreon account, y'all be able to do that. Uh, like I say, you can follow me on Instagram. Dirt by guys yourself. So, uh, appreciate it. So, more footage coming up. We're gonna be doing some real comparisons. We're gonna get technical with this what we got here at the bike. So we'll see. We'll see, baby. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it on up. But hey, I appreciate it. Going uh, just to stay tuned, y'all. I'll show you this bike here is uh, just the beginning. This is where we at right now. So, guys, peace.